Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Lightbox and Webflow in 2024. So today we're exploring the Lightbox feature, which is a versatile tool that allows you to showcase images and media in a slick. So interactive overlay on your website also. Whether you're highlighting a portfolio, displaying a products image, or presenting galleries, stick around as I guide you through those steps. Let's illuminate your content in the end, captivating your audience with stunning visual presentation. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow those tutori this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use like the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section type webflow.com and hit the enter button and this should take you into their home screen and main screen if you're logged into your account you'll find yourself on the dashboard if you don't have an account or you're not logged in you'll find yourself on a page like this in here you'll be able to click on login to log into your account if you have an account and if you don't have an account instead click on get started it's free to create an account for free without paying a penny unless you go and choose a plan of course of course you can log in into your account or create an account using google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. And if you don't know that about Webflow, you can scroll down to read more information about it. Just have a general idea about it by reading whatever it is here. They will give you some information about the websites before even creating an account. It will be good for you. And if you are interested to see the pricing, here is it. You can pause very read this all by your own. Of course, the features. This is yearly and this monthly. The prices for e-commerce. Here is it also yearly and monthly. So once you logged into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. And here, we will be able, of course, to start adding your Lightbox element. Start by opening your Webflow projects in the Webflow Designer. As an example, I don't know, maybe this one. And navigate to the page where you want to add the, the Lightbox functionality. And you can drag and drop the Lightbox element from the Add panel into your canvas. Of course, make sure that not everyone will have the Lightbox feature. If you have the free plan like me, if you have a premium plan or a better plan, you will find the Lightbox feature. Of course, first of all, now you can navigate to the page. So go to pages, go to the page that you want to add this Lightbox. I don't know where you want to add this exactly. Just click on whatever you want to add or change whatever it is. Let's say an example, this one. You can add it, of course, wherever you want. Just click on this plus button and look for the Lightbox. As I said before, not everyone will have it unless you have a better plan, not the free plan. Normally, if you have a better plan, you'll find your structure, basic, typography, uh, CMS, media, forms, advanced, other, and you'll find even like in components, uh, structure or section where you'll find lights, books, you'll find a lot of other things that you don't have for the free plan. Of course, on those like uh, uh, components, you'll find the lights box in there. And using the, this lights box, you'll be able, of course, to add it wherever you want on whatever page you want. Of course, you can simply just go and drag it down there as an example. And simply, you can, of course, attach it to a specific thing if you want to. For me, I'll just go and click on Control Z because I added the image just to show you. Of course, like if you didn't even find components here, you can simply go to this list panel and click on components. You'll find like a uh, cube in here. And as you can see for me, I'll not be able to create a new component to add the light box. Why? To create a component, right click an element to the canvas and select create components or press control shift A. So as an example, I'll just click on this element and control shift A. And as an example, I'll just go and give it a name. And as you can see on this component, it's a paragraph. I created the new component in it, but still, I cannot, of course, add any light box on it. Why? Because, as I said, it's not here in the component. It should be in here as a component section, like this media section, like this uh, form section. You'll find a, a component section that will contain the light box option. Of course, if you didn't believe me, like as an example, we can check like the videos that they have. As an example, I guess, I don't know if I can look for some specific ones. It should be on like 
the web design and make sure to look for lights box for images and videos uh, as an example i don't know what's exactly but let me show you lights lights box uh, for images webflow and they will give you here is it that's gonna be the video of course of lights box and i'll just show you like an image so i don't get copyrighted here's this so you'll find the components like this and you'll find like the lights box right there as you can see lights box links in here for me i don't have it why because as i said i don't have a better plan so i'll not be able to have it of course once you have it in your component just go and click on it and simply drag that thing in here and you'll be able of course to simply add or use it so as an example, I don't know, let's just, let just pretend that this is the button. Or an example, I don't know, let's just add it here. Why not? Click in here, add the button in here. So make sure to add it and make a, any customization that you want on your Lightbox. And yeah, of course, you can even configure the Lightbox settings. Like you can customize settings to suit your needs. Specify like the trigger type, such as the button uh text link or image thumbnail that will activate the lights box you can also adjust the lights box transition effects animation speed and other display options and of course once you configure the lights box settings it's time to add your content to display with it you can style the lights box and of course once you do everything make sure to test everything else by clicking on this preview option and test if it's working as example your lights box if it's working that's good if not just go back always and test it out of course make sure to test it out on desktop tablet landscape mobile and even portrait mobile if everything was working as intended you'll be able now to publish your site just click on publish and you'll be able to publish it on the webflow like link or domain that they give you and if you didn't like it as an example you can go and click on add the custom link or add the custom domain and simply go and get your own domain if you already have one just go and transfer it in here if you don't go and get a plan and they will give you like a custom domain created by you as an example the plans so you have some plans and some uh, the plans of course will have not just the components uh, to add the lightbox even like the custom domain that you want and yeah so there you have it you successfully learned like where you find lightbox exactly not how to do it exactly but it's very pretty simple you click here on plus go to component section add this right there and you will be good to go as simple as that of course by leveraging the lightbox feature you can showcase your contents in a modern and engaging way by cap and captivating of course your audience and encouraging uh, like interaction with them so if you have a question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible thank you for watching and happy designing and i'll see you in the next video so goodbye